Hello and welcome to another edition of Doodle Bliss with Jane Midday. Today we are going to talk about uh, doing fur using alcohol markers. I've got some Copic markers here. This is a page from my new coloring book. It's called Nature's Sweet Moments. And I have colored this in to show you. And now I'm going to show you the technique techniques that I used to do the fur on the bunny. Now, when you're coloring in a coloring book, what you want to make sure to do if you're using alcohol markers is put a sheet behind. You see, it's going to bleed through to the back of the page and you want to avoid damaging the following page. So I have these plastic sheets here. Oops, sorry about that. I have these plastic sheets here that I use. So I went ahead and I printed out another copy of my bunny. I printed them out onto marker paper. Let's get it in a little bit closer so that you can see him a bit better, see what I'm going to do. And I have three different markers here that I'm going to use for the fur. They're in, there's a light one, a medium one, and a darker one. And for these, the Copic markers, I've got Brick Beige and Sand and Chamois. And these colors, they're the same in um, Ohuhu markers as well, if you're looking for that, if you have a different brand. So what I do is I start with my lightest color. That's the Brick Beige. I've got a sheet here that I can use to test my colors to make sure before I color with them. And I'll show you the stroke that I'm going to use is called a flick stroke. And that's where you do light strokes that taper like that. You don't want to color just solid like that. That's going to be, um, that's not going to end up looking like fur. So what you do is you start and I am going to do my flick strokes like this. I'm not going to go right up to the eye because I want a little bit of white around the eye. And so you just work along like this doing your light flick strokes. And we're going to color in pretty much most of the bunny's face with this lightest color. Like that. And you see, I'm making my strokes, they go in the same direction that the fur grows. You want to do that so the taper is going in the right direction. And here's his nose. And we'll work on the muzzle there. And I like leaving a little bit of white because um, I'm going to turn this here because fur isn't just solid. There we go. Sometimes you have to turn your page so that you don't tie yourself up in a knot trying to get the fur strokes to go in the right direction. So here we go. Do them out toward his cheeks. And that's, we'll turn them all the way upside down. And do the rest of him like that. And we'll start doing the ears as well. Okay, so now we've got the base color down. What you do next is I've got my medium tone here, which is uh, the sand color. And we're going to start making our strokes overlap where the areas would be darker, like where there would be shading. So coming up here from the nose, you see, if you flick them out like that, it will make a soft 
blend into the fur. See how that goes? And so you're going to do that not over the whole thing, just where the fur might be darkest, like where the ears go behind the head, and then you can make it gradually taper up into where it's lighter, like that. So let's, let's keep going. The bottom of the nose. And we'll turn him again. It's going to be darker coming out from the muzzle to the edges. Whoops. And underneath his mouth, like that. Turn him again. Like that. You probably want to practice your first strokes on your scrap paper for a while at first to make sure that you get that light taper at the end. This is also good. Um, they're good strokes for doing grass, for doing a lot of things. So last little bit here. Like this. Okay, he's almost finished. You can see how that's starting to uh, make it look like he's really got some shape now. And then the last of the browns that I have here is the chamois. And that's going to be for your very darkest areas. So see, it's the same thing. Very light strokes and they blend up. Can you see how that makes a blend? I'm going to do his eyes with the darker brown as well. Do a little bit more. This is just for your very darkest areas. So around under the nose like that. Under the muzzle. And up here where the ear joins onto the head. <clears throat> Excuse me for coughing a little bit there. So you can see that that's really got some form and shape on his head. And now what I'll do, I'll go inside his ears. This color is called blush. Do the inside of his ears. If you want, you can add a little bit of pink to his nose. Let's do the inside of the ears. Do a little bit more shading. This one is called Fruit Pink. Get that in a little bit more. Now the last thing you can do, and this is just if you feel like it. This has got a pretty realistic look. It shows you the form. If you want, sometimes what I do is I add a little bit more of a blush. I've got a red pastel pencil here. And a cotton swab and you can add a little bit more of a blush with that if you want just a little bit more color like that like that and there you have it that is how I do the fur on a bunny Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there on your screen. That really helps me out and it helps me know which videos you enjoy so I can do more of them. Thanks a lot and see you next time.